Today, we are taking a look at some new Barbie play sets. For Ken, we have a washing machine and a bathroom sink. So, Ken can shave. We found these at Walmart for about $20 each. Each one comes with a doll and furniture. On the back of the box, there is a picture of the playset and other items that are available. Looks like this one has some water play and fine print at the bottom. Water toys sometimes get messy. Protect play services before use. Drain, rinse, clean, and dry all items thoroughly before storing. Color change will last longer if you do not expose this toy to intense heat or direct sunlight for prolonged periods of time. To avoid burns, do not use water that is too hot, above 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. Always read the fine print. Let's get these out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, the doll has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. He wears a blue and white tank top, dark blue shorts, and white flip-flops. Unfortunately, our flip-flops are a little loose and they don't want to stay on. The shirt is a solid white on the back with no Velcro and the shorts have an elastic waistband. The washing machine is a shade of green. I guess you could use it as a washer and a dryer. It's pretty solid all the way around. Has a white shelving unit on top. On the top, there are three recessed circles, so you can place accessories on the shelf like this included laundry detergent, and they stay in place. It comes with a light blue laundry basket, has a knob on the front that can turn, the door opens, there is a dial on the side, so you can actually make it spin. In the bathroom sink playset, the doll comes with facial hair, has the basic five points of articulation, wears a gray tank top, burgundy shorts with an elastic waistband. This shirt also has no Velcro, and he wears a pair of white sneakers. This playset is made for water play. It is made of plastic, has a purple mirror, a blue countertop with a white bowl sink. He comes with an orange bottle of something that fits on the side. Maybe that's soap or shaving cream. And there's another accessory on the other side. It's like a little jar of something. He has a silver razor with a sponge that can be stored right here. Underneath the sink, there is a silver bar to hang the face towel, a faux drawer, and a shelf underneath. On the back, there is a little opening for some extra storage if you need it. Now, about that shave. According to the box, we need ice water and hot water. I put warm water in the sink. Now we're gonna just get the razor all soaked and give him a shave. Ah, oh, look at that. It actually works. Whoa, it's already growing back. Okay, so let's use a little more warm water and see if we can get him clean shaven. <laughs> this is cool. Whoa, that's not right. Time to clean up the other side. Oops, sorry about that. Good thing this is just a sponge. And what? Okay, so I've just finished one side and it's already growing back. Here we go. I can't seem to keep up. Let's shave that side again. Here we go. And the chin. <laughs> and there we go. Are we almost there? I think my water's cooling off. And he's already growing back. So now we're gonna just use the towel and dry it off and see if that stops the color change. Ooh, he's looking a little rough. To bring back all the facial hair, we can use cold water. And that should help to even out his look. Yeah. So he's just gonna keep the facial hair for a while. You know, I think we can make something similar. Who's up for a versus? This doll and playset was about $19.99. We're only gonna make the playset so we can subtract the doll, which was probably about $9.99, leaving us with a $10 budget. I start by taking recycled paperboard, cut two three inch by three inch squares, cut a rectangle out of one of the squares, my rectangle is one inch from the top and a quarter inch around the sides. Paper cutters make this a lot easier. 
cut one inch strips of paperboard, cut them to fit the sides, stack and glue them together to make your own building blocks. On the front, this one is three inches, the sides are two and three fourths, then make two thinner ones that are two and a half. Glue them together, cut a strip of paperboard to fit on the inside. This is one and three quarter inches wide. Glue that in place to make our sink. All made out of recycled materials, so far we have spent no money. Cut seven and a half by three inch rectangles. Stack and glue about six together. Cut five and a half by three inch rectangles. Stack and glue them together. Repeat to make two. Glue them together to make the base. Stack and glue together more paperboard. Add a false drawer on top and a back on the bottom. Glue it underneath. Repeat on the other side. I got coffee stirs. These were $1.99 at the grocery store. Cut and glue them onto the edges to add strength. Cut two stacks of paperboard to go on the sides of the sink. I found scraps of foil scrapbook paper. Cut three rectangles. If I had to buy this brand new, it usually cost about $1 to $1.99. Take a leftover piece of foam board, cut it to the length of the counter, and seven inches up. Glue on the foil scrapbook paper to make a large mirror. Paint it along with a few coffee stirs and a small piece of a wooden dowel. This is a leftover scrap from an earlier project. Glue the mirror onto the back, glue down the sink and the sides that we painted to look like marble. Glue the painted coffee stirs around the mirror to make a frame. Use a cut piece of a coffee stir for a handle on the faux drawers. Glue the wooden dowel under the sink. Paint a small piece of the coffee stir and the wooden dowel silver. Glue it onto the sink for a faucet. Glue beads to the sides. I bought a pack of white socks from the dollar store. Cut out a rectangle. Turn it inside out. Fold it to use as towels. Hang one on the center bar. Add a bead with an artificial plant for a touch of green. And to complete our bathroom sink. We used a lot of recycled materials for this project. I did buy the coffee stirs for $1.99 and the socks for a dollar. Putting my out-of-pocket cost at $2.99. But if you're starting from scratch, you're gonna need paint, beads, a wooden dowel, and foil scrapbook paper which can make the cost go up. This took me about six or seven hours, mainly because of all of the cutting, but it is pretty sturdy. Barbie's is made of plastic, so it can hold water. This is made of paper, so it cannot. But you know how we love crafting. And I've gone completely crazy with this faux marbling. Let us know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!